So we put up a greenhouse. This little guy was only about 275 bucks or $300. And we put it, uh, put it up just with the two of us in about three to four hours. Real easy build. Now we're getting ready to put plants in there. We got some, uh, we got some linden berries right there. They're growing back already. And I'm actually going to use landscaping material. We got this for our orchard up at the farm. Uh, but I'm going to use this to put layer the floor so the weeds don't grow. Because they got pretty bad just within a couple of weeks. They're already knee high. We're going to run them this way and tuck it underneath as much as we can. For the landscaping material, if you use scissors on it, it will fray. So I have uh, a blowtorch right there. And I bought a a soldering kit and I'm gonna see if this works if it doesn't it doesn't uh, it was, it's not that expensive but we're gonna try it all all right we just put our first line down we're just gonna roll them out down the center uh, and then just cut them and then we'll we'll fix them to where they're supposed to be you can hear it clicking I kind of want to go slower that way it doesn't fray as much this isn't going to be as fun as when I got to do uh, 60,000 linear feet of it. Because uh, these rolls come in 300 feet a piece. And I think at the farm, on the orchard, I'm going to break them down uh, maybe like a 50 or 100 feet at a time. That way, if the wind does pick up one of them, it doesn't take the entire 300 feet with all my plants. And we're done with that one. We're just gonna do a next roll and a next roll and a next roll. This should only take about, I'm thinking four, no more than four rows. So we're on our last roll because we are overlapping them about six inches. So this is the last one sitting here. We're gonna tuck it in there. It was a little hard tucking it on the sides since the grass is there. It would almost been easier to put it down before we put the greenhouse and put the staples in. Unfortunately, I also didn't, the staples are at the farm. So we're probably just gonna use some, uh, some 16 penny nails with like a aluminum washer type of deal. That's right there, aluminum tape. Just to set them down, once the plants are on them, I don't think this is gonna move. All the vegetation underneath should just rot. And uh, yep, that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and as I overlapped them, I'm going to staple them together because they move a ton as you're, it's actually kind of frustrating the grass is really bad. But what I'm going to do is I have one of these and we put a nail through it. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. And then, all right, so that's good. And then I'm just going to go ahead and clip that 16 penny right all the way through and I'll hold it. This isn't forever. I'm just trying to keep it under control. Because every time you step on it, it just becomes a mess. So, you got another one there. And just put the nail right through. And then another one. This is the third overlap here. Put one down, make sure it over actually overlaps. One down, put a nail in, go all the way through. And they're soft enough. Uh, eventually I'll have to remove the nails once it all settles down real good and I bring my staples back from the farm. But that's kind of what it looks like. Uh, that way we can walk on it without having to disturb it. I'll probably put some on the corners as well. So I ordered uh, about three cubic yards of dirt, well my wife did. and. We have these that we purchased, they were relatively inexpensive, I think they were about two, $2.50 a bag. They're six by six by nine. We're gonna grow our sprouts in them for our orchard. This should be, we should get about 300 today. So we're filling them up here in my driveway. And then we just have a, a regular lawn mower with a, with a wagon. We'll see how much it fits and hopefully we can get it all done today. All right, so earlier today, we did the flooring here, and uh, we put our plants in. 
Well, most of those bags that you see, they're, they're actually about 87 cents? 83 cents. 83 cents a bag if you buy th over 300 of them. So it took us about a cubic yard and a half to do them. And then with the leftover dirt, we had some pot plants that uh, we got from evergreen trees and we're using them. Uh, so we, we planted everything from tomatoes to uh, rhubarb to uh, bell peppers and sweet peppers. Here we planted some radishes. On this end, these are actually linden berries and it's their second year. They're probably gonna go into their own uh, raised bed this year because they're, they're not getting enough room. And over here, we have some little onions. And this, we're trying to always use what we have. I was building a picket fence and there was some access um, material for the sleeves for the 4x4s. And I probably could get away with even cutting them in half and uses them for pots. Well, we put the onions in there too. And that took us about a day. So not too bad.